screams in the static. Late night radio host, Mark, had been entertaining listeners for years with his mix of music and ghost stories. One stormy night, an unknown caller began sharing gruesome tales of murder, sending chills down Mark's spine. The caller's voice, distorted by static, hinted at a malevolent presence. As the nights went on, the mysterious caller continued to share chilling accounts, each more grisly than the last. Mark's fascination turned to obsession as he realized the murders were happening in his town. He became determined to unveil the identity of the sinister caller and put an end to the terror. Mark began investigating the murders, visiting the crime scenes, and piecing together the puzzle. He discovered a pattern. Each victim had a connection to the radio station. As the body count rose, Mark felt the pressure to solve the mystery and protect his colleagues. One fateful night, the unknown caller phoned again, revealing the location of the next murder. Mark rushed to the scene, only to find his closest friend dead. Devastated and furious, Mark vowed to catch the killer at any cost. Desperate for answers, he traced the origin of the calls to an abandoned building, where he discovered a chilling shrine to his radio show. It was then that he realized the killer had been stalking him all along. As the static-filled voice echoed through the building, Mark knew the killer was near. In a heart-pounding confrontation, Mark unmasked the killer, a former radio host, driven mad by jealousy and a lust for the spotlight. With the police on their way, the murderer lunged at Mark, but he fought back, finally ending the reign of terror. Screams in the static serves as a chilling reminder that the line between obsession and madness can be perilously thin. And when the airwaves fill with the whispers of a killer, one can never be sure who is truly listening.